Hello, welcome to my channel, Numbers Pro Noeline. Today we'll be talking about what Power BI is. So what is Power BI? This is in preparation to the Get Into Power BI series. So subscribe to join. It starts January 2021 and it will cover everything about Power BI, how to use Power BI, Power BI desktop, publishing um, reports to Power BI, online service, and sharing this report. So what is Power BI? Power BI is a self-service and enterprise business intelligence tool, which we can use to connect to and visualize any data using a unified scalable platform. So Power BI let us connect to multiple data sets from different sources to create our report. So we can connect to data both online, on premises and cloud data. And we do this using over 120 customized data connectors that we have access to as at today, as at December, 2020. And it lets us connect to Excel, CSV, SQL databases, any other database you can think about, on-premises, on the cloud, and also online services like Google Analytics, Asana, any online analytics platform, most online analytics platform. So how do we do this? You go to get into your Power BI desktop, go to get data, then you see the list of data connectors you have access to. So file, Excel, CSV, JSON, databases like SQL database, Postgres database, and many other databases that you can access. Power BI platform, which is Power BI data sets, Power BI data flows, common data service. And this allows you to access cleaned certified power data sets that have already been published to power bi and used in some reports um, and most often we use this to ensure that we have one source of truth you can also connect to azure databases and other online services such as like i said before such as your google analytics your adobe analytics such as your asana and project management tools and most project management tools that you can think about. But also we have a section where you can create customized data connectors using, for example, R or Python or ODBC connectors. And this allows you then connect to databases or data sources that we don't have a customized connector. So. Power BI allows us to connect to data sets from multiple data sources. And Power BI is made up of Power BI desktop and Power BI online service, as well as the Power BI mobile app. So the Power BI desktop allows you to create data modules and interactive reports. So this is where you're able to connect to these data sources that we talked about by going to get data, getting all the data that you want. It could be one and it could be as much as 20 data sources or even higher. Connect these data sources either by using manage relationship or by going to your transform data, which is your power query. And there you're able to import data sources again, connect them by merging or appending your data sources. And also you can create additional columns, either conditional columns, um, for columns based on formulas. You can reformat your columns. You can reformat your table, reduce it, filter it. So you do your extract transformation load process in Power BI Desktop, create your reports in Power BI Desktop, and it's important to note interactive reports. And then the next thing is, how do I collaborate and share my report? That's where Power BI Online Service comes into play. So we have Power BI Pro, 
and Power BI Premium. So Power BI Premium is the most costly online service when we compare that to Power BI Pro. It's mostly enterprise and it allows AI powered data modeling by using auto ML, cognitive services, and the Azure machine learning. Power BI Pro, on the other hand, you pay per user and you're able to do loads of stuff. You're able to collaborate with colleagues on creating a report and then you're able to share these reports to people in your organization or outside your organization. You're also able to create dashboards which you can source from different pages of your report to have a good an overview of that report or create what we call apps which is like a container and also you can access this in our power bi mobile app you're on the go you want to know what's happening a stakeholder wants to be on top of things they use power bi mobile app so join me on this journey i'll be releasing one video at least one video a month some months you would see more it would be between five to ten minutes to make sure it's short concise and straight to the point and the aim is by the end of the Power BI online series, you should be able to use Power BI. It launches January 2021. So please join me on this journey by subscribing. Also share with your colleagues, share with your friends so that they can all join us. It will make the comment session more informative because I would love to see your questions. I would love to hear your feedback to improve videos based on that. Thank you very much and see you in my next video.